Hi, I am Patty Elhoff. I am the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, available on Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Scobie Books, several online retailers, and soon to be on my website, upcyclewithdecoupage.thepweb.com. And you can check out my blog over there, too. I've got a lot of tips on decoupage and other crafts and a lot of videos. So, today we're going to be working on this raw wood clog. And you do not have a clog sitting around, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Unless you're watching this in Holland. <laughs> and this tutorial is good for any piece of raw wood. So if you want to learn how to work on any raw wood, I'm going to show you this tutorial today and the things that will be needed. I am going to give you the list of supplies needed for this project and this goes for any raw wood project, okay? The first thing you're going to need is an all-purpose sealer available at any craft store. I'm using this Delta Cream Coat and that's the first thing you want to have. I'm using this lovely poinsettia wrapping paper, paint, and this is one that I think, it's not quite exactly white, it's kind of a vanilla taffy, it's called color in the background. Varnish, this is a matte, I'm probably going to be going with a high gloss. Decoupage glue, as always, you're going to need several brushes, sponge brushes are fine for this project. I'm going to be using a smattering of glitter. You can omit that step if you'd like. Large pair of scissors, small pair of scissors, and if you have a flexible junk toothbrush around, you don't need to have this. It's not crucial for the project, but it is going to add a nice little touch. I'll show you how to use it in case you want to use it for your next project. So the very first thing you want to do is paint this item, I'm using this clog, with the all-purpose sealer first. So I'm going to paint this whole thing. One coat is fine. If you're putting it outside, you may want to do two coats. But one coat is just fine. While it's drying, I am going to cut up several of these poinsettias, and these are all different sizes. That's fine to use different sizes. As a matter of fact, it's, it will add a little more charm to your project. And the idea is not to cover the whole piece. We're going to do some type of a design with it. Large scissors, small scissors, and I'm going to get started painting this with the all-purpose sealer. Then I'm going to cut out my flowers. When you're done cutting the flowers, that sealer will be dried. It dries pretty quickly and it takes a little while to cut the flowers. You'll want to put your base coat over the whole piece of wood. If you'd like to skip the step where you paint it and you would just like to work on raw wood, decoupage on there, that's fine because this sealer dries clear, so it's up to you. First step though, apply the sealer. While it's drying, excuse me, <clears throat> cut out your flower. Pull this back, it'll work better this way. But you'll find, this is very relaxing too, by the way, you'll find that once you get started, you start to feel much more comfortable with the scissors. And you can just cut a bunch of these out. The nice, nice thing about this is you can keep the TV on in the background and sit down and relax with a latte or your cup of tea, iced tea. And cut out everything that you need. Put them in a little pile next to you when you're done. And you're all set. Once you have the sealer dried on the surface and then you've painted your base coat on there, you can start to decoupage. I put a couple of holes back here with my drill because I'm going to be putting a ribbon through there and hanging this. 
like this during the holidays. Once everything's dry, we're going to take our images and it's a good idea first to, to get an idea of where you're going to put them rather than to just start working and decoupaging and then say I'm not too crazy about it. So I've already decided that I'm going to kind of go in this type of a zigzag pattern around the shoe. I'll be overlapping in some areas and I wanted to tell you to it's a good idea to keep your small scissors on hand because so I'm taking my first flower I'm going to this is my decoupage glue love these little baby food jars for this reason and I'm going to put the decoupage medium down right where I'm about to put the flower to dip it in the water and that always makes it more pliable shake it off a little bit and I'm going to place it over where I just put the decoupage medium and I'll press it down where I can but already I can see there's a there's going to be a wrinkle here so what I'm going to do is cut right on the spot where it's starting to wrinkle. So now this flower, this part of the petal of the flower lays down flat. I think I'll probably need to cut it in here too. Now this section lays down flat. Didn't put enough glue over here. Take a push glue. So that lays down flat. And this section it's laying down flat just fine without cutting anything. You always want to make sure you get the edges down when you're decoupaging. Then I'm going to take a little more decoupage glue and just go right over that flower. And you now have a nice flat flower image, whatever you're working with. And it is stuck to the surface. And we're going to go around the whole piece and add the rest of our images. And another thing that I will show you is when you're working on an edge here, that is another place you use one of the smaller flowers. That's another place where you're going to need the scissors. Dip this in water. That's a tricky angle, right? There's no way I'm going to be able to lay that down and not mess the whole thing up, but not a problem. As long as you have your glue down. Too close. Let's take those small scissors. And that is how you work on edges, curves, corners. I have an Easter egg video that shows you how to 
work on a completely curved surface if you'd like to check that out. But for now, this is all we need to do. And I'm going to go around the rest of the clog following that same kind of on an angle zigzaggy pattern. And when I'm all done, I'll come back. Once it's dry, you're going to take your decoupage glue and go over the whole piece two times. Let it dry between each coat. Ah, one other thing. If you go around the shoe and you see that there's a spot, like a blemish right there, you may have rubbed it too hard or the water caused it to break away or something. Very easy to fix these. It's one of the nice things about decoupage. Just go back to the original image and just cut out a little piece to add right onto there. You could either cut out this tiny piece that you need or cut out a sliver and just go right over it so that you don't have those problems. So I am done but I'm going to put the paintbrush, I'm sorry, the toothbrush into a little bit of this paint. And it's very light, it just adds a little something. It's so light, I don't know if you can see it on the video, I'll close up on it. This step's going to take a couple of more minutes to dry, not a big deal. And I'm not picking up a lot of paint. Uh, and even if you accidentally pick up too much and there's a big glop, you can wipe it right off at this stage. But this just adds a little more uh, texture to it. It pulls things together. Before I show you this last step, I wanted to tell you one other little trick. I told you that I put holes in the back here because I'm going to be adding a ribbon. I'm not sure yet if it will be this ribbon, which I'll just loop through here so that this can hang like that on the wall and I can put things in there, maybe even a poinsettia. <laughs> uh, fake, of course. But uh, this might be a little too green or it might be perfect for around Christmas time. And here's the other trick that I wanted to tell you about. I just took some tool and you know that hairspray you can get in the drugstore? It's usually the cheapest stuff there. Big back in the bouffant days, really cheap, really strong. It's a lacquer. <laughs> I think one of the cans might even say hair lacquer. Well, I sprayed it over the tool and then I just sprinkled some of the glitter on it that I'm just going to put around this shoe. And here's what I'm going to do. For right now, I'm going to start to add the top coat. And you can see how thick and milky this is. It dries perfectly clear, perfectly clear. No residue, no off color. Close up on this a little bit. And you could skip this step with the glitter, but I am just going to place a little bit of glitter around right over. You need a top coat. So whether it's matte, satin, or high gloss like this. So I'm just going to finish the whole shoe and I'm going to come back when it dries and we'll see how it looks with whichever ribbon I decide to use. Okay, be right back. We're all done. There's the high gloss top coat, the glitter. I decided to go with this bow, which I just put through. And there you have the wooden clog, now all decorated and complete. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing, by the way. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.